In this video, let's have a look at the Carbon ROM for the LG V30. And it is based out of Android 10 and this is the 9th April build. And it also has the latest standard security patch level as of now. So here are the quick tile options that you get. And here you will see there's also a quad deck option and that works pretty good. And if you have any reboot issues, please turn off Wi-Fi scanning under location settings. Though I would suggest you just disable that right from the start. Now moving on. As you can see in the notification panel, there's a Hi-Fi Quadac option and it works pretty well, but it has the bug of ABC reset when you kind of play or pause the music or sometimes when you plug in or plug it out. So I'll be leaving a link down in the description below about the bugs that this room has, but the main ones include no Wi-Fi, no VOVOLTE, and there's no work around to make that work and there are no LG stock apps that can work here and another major bug is that for some people Wi-Fi does not work so there are a few workarounds to get your Wi-Fi working and those workarounds work for most other people and for some people like me Wi-Fi works out of the box without any issues okay so here's my battery graph I know it's a bit weird, but long story short, this room is very smooth and has great battery life and it's really stable. I haven't had any freeze ups or any sudden lags with this particular room. So this has been an enjoyable experience. And you have the option for changing up the colors, but that apparently does not work, I guess. I'm using the Swift installer black theme here. But there's also an inbuilt dark mode and you here have the option for always on display so just enable it and it works and if you have any issues it will kind of start working out after some time it sometimes does not work immediately after flashing the room and i'm using nick g apps here so those are the g apps that i recommend that you use based on your needs you can tweak that up and here's the styling options. So you have a lot of option here. Different clocks and that kind of stuff, as you can see here, pretty cool stuff. So this will also be present on your AOD and the lock screen. So that's pretty cool. You have the phone options, icon options, accent options, primary color. So there are a billion options here. So let me just cancel this. And you can customize the display size, phone size, that kind of stuff. That's pretty standard. And here was the dark mode. And under the sound settings, you would find options like Quadac and screenshot sound, that kind of stuff. And let's move on. And here are the carbon fibers and at first look it seems like this room does not have that many features and that is kind of true but this room offers a lot of stability speed and battery life and i think that's particularly what really matters and it has all the essential features that you would need so you have a few shortcuts you have the option for smart pixels so you can enable that uh, this is basically a power saving feature or you could use as a burn-in protection feature so that's pretty cool so the percentage you sent that percentage of pixels are disabled on this room you have aggressive idle, idle standby auto enable battery saver you have a few status bar customizations like selecting the status bar icons and then you have the option of 4g or lte switching and here you have the battery bar so that's that you can customize the color and a lot of stuff there i generally don't use that and here you have the network traffic indicators and they are pretty cool and they work out well and you have the quick quick side q uh quick settings pull down and here you have the brightness design as you can see here pretty standard stuff you have a few clock and date customization options and as you can see here you can customize the hell out of that and you have a few lock screen options like lock screen shortcuts scramble pin 
so someone else cannot guess your pin from the position that you type your pin at you have lock screen charging info like icon and you have some butter customizations compact left leaning that kind of stuff and i'm actually using fng here so let me quickly disable that so you have toggle torch invert layout and left leaning that kind of stuff so i generally use fng that i really like fluid navigation gestures and here are a few Jeff gesture options these are the much coveted android and navigation gestures as you can see here and you can customize that so this is pretty cool as you can see here i can even hide the navigation power pill all right so you have swipe to screenshot jump to camera by using double pressing of the power button prevent ringing so overall this is a pretty cool room and here are, you have some privacy options hiding apps from recents so that's pretty much it for this room if you like it you can go ahead and flash it i'll leave a link down in the description below and you can join that telegram channel it's a pretty cool place so that's it thank you for watching have a nice day bye